Hey everybody, Patrick from One Shot Kill It Media here, and today I wanted to go ahead and do a quick product shout out to Topps Knives and the uh, Colin Despin Designed Backbite. Now this, folks, is just a badass knife in general. I'm sure you can already tell just from the way that it looks. I'm going to go ahead and just give you a breakdown on some of the features here of this blade. So overall, obviously this is a fixed blade knife that we're looking at. Um, overall length here is going to be eight and a half inches. Blade length itself is four inches. Cutting edge is three. And to keep in mind here, we've got the worn cleft blade on the back and the curved strike face on the front. Just so you can see there. Uh, blade thickness is going to be about a nineteenth of an inch. And the blade steel here is the 1095 RC5658. Um, handle material, we got black linen handles on here. As you can see, we've got the three screws going through on each side. Keep them in place nice and tight. Uh, the knife weight itself is 5.5 ounces, and the weight with the sheath is 7 ounces. Now, the sheath is included when you purchase this knife, and then the sheath material is going to be made out of a black Kydex. It's a nice fitted sheath. It's got a rotating spring steel clip on the back, so you can carry it in different configurations. It's nice and tight on a belt. It's not going anywhere on you, just so you can see it. There we go. Overall, great combination of products here. The knife fits nice and tight right in that sheath. Not going anywhere, you can get knocked around, you know, and it's still gonna hold nice and tight. Easy to pull out though too if you need to. Um, takes, takes a little bit of oomph to get it out, but it, uh, the grip is nice there. It's not, not too tight, not too loose and uh, just allows you to go ahead and pull that knife and get ready for action. So according to Colin Despins, the, uh, the designer of this knife, this is the primary configuration for this fighting knife um, with this curved blade facing forward and the Warncliffe blade facing backwards. That's where, it, uh, where the name is derived from, the back bite, uh, because you can strike forward and backwards with this knife. Um, so the other thing to keep in mind here, um, just overall and my thoughts of it, I really like the curvature of the handles, uh, nice placement for your thumb, regardless of which way you're using it. Uh, easy to, to keep your hand on the blade, or on the handles I should say, so your hand won't slip over the blade even with tough, uh, tough rough usage. Also one of the main features I really wanted to point out on this knife is the chiseled tip. So as you can see here, let me get, a, get that zoomed in a little bit. So you can see that nice chisel on the end there. And what that does is that produces a wider wound channel um, by using that chisel tip in combination with that worn cleft back edge. So when you make a stabbing motion, for instance, you stab in and you'll see with my fingers here that that naturally pushes that wound channel open further. So as you see, you go like this, that chisel tip pushes that blade edge deeper and deeper and that allows that wound channel to go ahead and get widened out. So overall, again, just a kick-ass knife from Tops, and a nice design there by Colin Despins. And if you have any other questions about this blade, like always, just go ahead and let me know in the comments section. And uh, yeah, just great work, Tops. Uh, fantastic knife, great product, and I think everybody should check it out. Uh, you'll see a link to Colin's video and um, to the top's website here in my, uh, in my information section. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Have a great day.